Yeah. That's a crazy. That's 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 totally crazy. This is John Peterson in his best moments, I believe. It's like crazy. I mean, like it's like judo. I mean, you are absorbing the energy and firing it back. It's like crazy. So I was on YouTube this morning looking for some mind blowing Jordan Peterson clips. Things he's saying in interviews, in public talks, in lectures, stuff like that. And man, this is insane. I mean, the kind of bombs he's dropping just out of nowhere, like it's nothing. That's 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 really insane. I mean, <laughs> I don't even understand half of the stuff he's saying. I mean, for me, it's like if I can chain th uh, three sentences together and if those sentences make sense, man, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. So. I was really, really impressed when I when when I watched those two clips, and um, so let's check it out and dive into it. Let's open the first tab. The first tab is uh, the first clip I wanna we wanna dive in is called Jordan Peterson calls out the pseudo moralistic stances of activists Q and A. So let's jump in. I don't know, what is your answer uh, to young people for some of the really big uh, uh, problems facing humanity, like the you know, climate catastrophe, like economic crisis, like the precarious job market? Because they just don't, like you talk all this much about uh, individual responsibility. Most of us are never gonna be able to afford uh, to have all of these assets to have responsibility over. So what is your advice beyond banal comments like clean your room? Whoa, I mean, did, did you guys, did you see the look on her face when, you, when, when, she, when she finished the sentence? It's like, yo, this is my statement, what you are going to say. It's like, you have no opinion about what you're talking. I just said something that is smashing you in pieces. And yeah, I'm really excited how Peterson is reacting to that, how he's answering to that. Oh, of course, she gets applause. It's actually rather difficult to answer a question that ends with your comments are banal, politely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But this, this is this is also like the media is, is is portraying stuff. I mean, in those talk shows, they're really looking for conflict situations. Let me know if you experience this too. It's like if you're looking if you're looking at a talk show, then I mean, it, they're always looking for like super super conflict situations. Consider that more of an opinionated personal and political statement than actually a question. So mm. why don't you try reformulating that so that there's an actual question there? <laughs> I mean, this is John Peterson in his best moments, I believe. It's like crazy. I mean, just imagine you get shot by that kind of a question. I mean, she's a woman. She's in, in, in the crowd. And I mean, there's probably a lot of support. And then she's shooting like that, that kind of a harsh question to you. And you're just like... It's like judo. I mean, you are absorbing the energy and firing it back. It's like crazy. But let's see how she's responding. Yeah, it's, so it's kind of a hard hit, right? When you talk about you need to be individually responsible, but when there are things that are so far out of our control, like climate catastrophe, like the precarious job economy, like you know, the They're economic crisis. They're not as far out of your control what, what is, as you what think. Is, what is your answer? I mean, do you think that you're worse off than questions? your? Do you think that you're? I mean, just my my opinion about her statement. It's like that's that's really crazy. A kind of an argument. Um, I mean, she's she she she's basically what she's saying is like, well, there's so much going on in the world and um, you don't even have control of it's like ca kind of chaos theory in a way. And then um, like what should young people do in, 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 in face of this chaotic situation at all? 
And I mean, of course, everybody is facing it. This is not just for, for, for young people. It's like for everyone who's going through life, there's a lot of chaos around. And um, yeah, so this is like an universal problem, I would say. You're worse off than your grandparents? I think there are different challenges. Do you think you're worse off than your grandparents? Uh, Jordan, once again, we're not going to cross-examine our questioners. Uh, so try answering the question about collective responsibility. Yeah, and quick comment on that. It's like very, yeah, very common that they they don't they don't give enough space to clear those questions properly. It's like, um, yeah, you have 20 seconds to answer everything, and if you don't manage that, uh, we will cut you off. And this is like, uh, it's it's not it's not well very very good if you want to have like real beneficial valuable discussions but let's let's continue on climate change for example pick pick one part of that uh because the argument i think is the individual responsibility does not change um the climate does not fix the problem that needs global collective responsibility so i think that's the core of the question do you have a a theory about that oh, okay he's he's putting it in a little different light um more of like yeah it's uh, you if you fix your own stuff um you don't really contribute to like the macro problems uh, we we in the world are facing it's like um well if you're if you're in the ocean you can you can you can um actually there's one one saying i know but i don't want to bore you guys um, but to make it to make make a long story short, it's like if you see something in the ocean, the plastic, and and you remove it, um, then yes, of course you don't remove all plastic in the ocean, but you're still contributing to a better world. So, I mean, that's a crazy crazy question to ask because usually, if you're kind of optimistic, then you already have the answer. Well, fundamentally, I'm a psychologist and. My experience has been that people can do a tremendous amount of good for themselves and for the... And this is so powerful. I mean, just... Look, he's he's a clinical psychologist. Oh God, uh, guys, I don't even... <laughs> you see what I mean? I don't, I don't even able to, 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 yeah, to pronounce his job title correctly. So, um, psychiatrist, I guess, this is the right way to put it. But um, it's so powerful that he in his he in his job is he's working with people, and he experienced that people are capable of doing so much good. I mean, this is really uplifting right here. People who are immediately around them by looking to their own inadequacies and their own flaws and the things that they're not doing in their lives, and starting to build themselves up as more powerful individuals. And if they're capable of doing that and then they're capable of expanding their career. And if they're capable of expanding their career and their competence, then they're capable of taking their place in the community as effective leaders. And then they're capable of making wise decisions instead of unwise decisions when it comes to making collective political decisions. I'm not suggesting in the least and have never suggested that there's no domain for social action. I'm suggesting that people who don't have their own houses in order should be very careful before they go about reorganizing the world which happens in many ways. And this is this is such a, a powerful argument. I mean, and of course, for, for me, I mean, I, it's it's just subjective, but I really, really resonate with that, with the, with the kind of stuff um, Jordan Peterson is saying, because what he's basically saying is like, well, start small start start on the simple things because the simple things are already hard to do in life um, like I don't know cleaning your room um, fixing your own household fixing your finances that's already tough but if you are not even able to to fix the small things in your life how dare you think that you're able to fix far more complicated problems like the climate change like um, stuff on a macro level it's far too complicated i mean it, it, it's like it's like with everything in life you you, you start um you you start with 
relatively easy things and you, you start to learn to deal with the pressure, to deal with the stress, to deal with all of this. And then you kind of grow a little bit in this process. And when you grow, then you're capable to, 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 to the next level of problems and the next level of problems because your skill set and your abilities grow with you. And for me, this is, I mean, I experienced this in my life personally, um, and I'm still experiencing it, but to just look at, look at the expression on her face, she is like, wow, that doesn't make even sense. And, ah, uh, I think that she's too emotional about her argument. So, are you, can, you, can, can I just, just to, if a young person believes that the uh, climate, the global warming um, problem on the climate is something that needs to be tackled quickly and they can't wait until they grow up and become prime ministers to do it, do, do you think collective responsibility overrides individual responsibility in a huge issue like that? No. <laughs> I had I, I, I had the same same my uh, same thought in in my mind like no, really, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is like the individual is in the center of our society, right? You have to have the responsibility about yourself and there should be no broader society community or whatsoever, which is a lifting the, the 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 burden of taking your own uh, taking your own responsibility from you since otherwise you won't grow and i think this is this is i mean i'm really excited what peterson is is uh, elaborating on i don't I, I think that generally i think that generally i think that generally people i think generally people have things that are more within their personal purview that are more difficult to deal with and that they're avoiding and that generally the way they avoid them is by adopting uh, pseudo moralistic stances on large scale social issues so that they look good to their friends and their neighbors. That's what it looks like. <laughs>